Look how hard these little things. Such good fun. Another nice size one. It's such good fun. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm fishing in beautiful Port Macquarie. I'm going to be doing something which is probably one of my favourite things to do in the estuary, which is uh, fishing for whiting using little stick baits like this. It's really exciting because you can actually see the fish come up and smash that lure and then take off at 100 miles an hour. I fished here yesterday and got a heap of fish, probably around about 30 fish. Um, today it's going to be a little bit harder because that wind's backed off. You really need that wind to make that water a little bit choppy so it doesn't spook the fish. So we're gonna have a go. The best time to fish is that run up tide. So two hours before high and then two hours after. So there's a lot of water sitting up on the bank. Over the top of those yabby holes is where you really wanna be fishing. So we're gonna have a go anyway and see how we go. Hope you enjoy. So the lure we're gonna be using today is a 65 mil top water stick bait if you can have a good look at that there nice and close up if you can see it this is a Japanese made one it's called in feet um, I got this from global tackle why recommended this lure and it actually is probably the best one I've used I've used sugar pens um, the MMD splash prawns I think these by far are the best lure I've used This is another whiting. Oh, it feels like one. First one for the day. Tide's just pushing up, so they're gonna come on the tube. So there you go, whiting on stick bait. Yesterday I fished here and I got about 20 to, oh sorry, 30 to 40 of these. Only keep what I need for a feed. Yep, he's 30. Live well. Yeah, oh, There's a little tailor, I think. There's plenty of these little fellas here. go hard for a small fish oh, that's a whiting that was a bit weird it jumped out of the water there we go two fish and two casts I think it's gonna be heating up today this is a pretty good start Give him a measure. Yeah, he's 29. So there you go, there's another little whiting on the stick bait. So the way to fish these things. He's a nice big long cast, so you don't spook the fish with your boat. 
as far as you can cast it and literally just hold your rod tip up and a very, very slow wind. If you go too fast, the fish aren't gonna hit it. If you're going nice and slow, as you can see my hands are moving nice and slow, this is the way they're gonna always hit it. Like I said before, one of the most important things with this is you do need wind. When the wind chops up that surface, it doesn't spook the fish, and you get far more hookups with some wind. And also try and cast with the wind at your back. Um, you gotta get a lot further cast because these things don't weigh a lot. So it is best to try and fish on the bank side where your back, the wind is on your back. Yep, hooked up again. It's been a bit slow because there's just no wind at all. Probably had about 50 casts along here and this is the first fish that's had a go. It's a nice little one too. They go hard these little things. Such good fun. Just want to come in. This is a nice fish. Just gonna lift him up. Another nice legal one for dinner. There we go. There we go, that's how we do it. Whiting on a stick bait. Another nice size one. It's such good fun. And when you use these, um, there's one thing you should do, I didn't mention before, is when you buy these lures, they come with trebles. What I would do, what you're doing all these top water lures for whiting is I take the back treble off. And what you do is you put these two little assist hooks on and that's going to help you get a far better hook up because what happens is they sit far a little bit further back than what the trebles do so when they come up and swipe it you're not going to miss as many times i find if you have the trebles you're going to miss a lot more fish so there's a good trick for you to use if you're going to have a go at this there we go